environment. Yeah. Whatever it is you're getting out of the, being in this beautiful environment, does my heart good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> and Tondra and Mom, you know, there's something intangible about it. Did you get those, uh, that whole range of colors and hues of those clouds before the sun came up? Those fuchsias and hot pinks? And then turning to yellow and vanilla? What does Hilton Head mean to you? I mean, like, why do you like it so much? Well, the ocean here is my attraction. I feel some sort of some attraction between, some magnetism between myself and the beach and the ocean. And you look out there and you, you can almost want to connect with history because people who came to this island came from out there. And when they landed, they didn't know what was in store for them or their posterity. And uh, those who survived this trip, I feel a kind of a connection, a kinship. Plus there's a, the natural, the nature side of uh, the ocean and the sunrise and the beaches. It just doesn't seem to have any ill will against anybody. It's very tranquil and peaceful and something that attracts all human beings. How does it make you feel to walk on the beach, you know? It makes me feel alive and vital and energized. Almost like being back home. Just standing here on this uh, boardwalk before you hit the beach again uh, makes me feel like I've reconnected with something very special when I come back here every single time. And I always have to come up here and say hello to the beach when we get here and goodbye to the beach when it's time to go. What time do you usually come out to the beach? Preferably at sunrise, whenever that is. This week it's about 7.06, 7.05. That's when I like to show up. But when we have the time, I like to come out here several times a day, as many times as we can. I like to come out at low tide, high tide, um, when there's weather activity uh, that you know that you can see in the ocean when the waves are a lot more active and higher and more white caps. And I like to come out here when it's calm like it is now. Can you tell me about the sunrise? When you see that tip of that big great big giant fireball just pierce the water, just a crown of it. And then it shoots up ever so sharply. It seems to linger there for a few seconds, and then it starts to rise again. Uh, and you realize that that sun is way, way out there, and you feel a, you start to feel the sun rays warming your body. And I mean, you think about it, it's been doing that for eons. It shows up every morning, right on schedule. If that doesn't make you feel like you're connected to something beyond, you know, just your earthly body, then you're not moved by anything with majesty and power. I thought about getting here. One of the things I wanted to sustain me was the idea of being able to get back here and enjoy this beach in a special way. The sunrise is walking on the beach and uh, I realize how temporary life can be and how fragile life can be. And you can be without life and activity and breath and the blood running, warming your body and having strength in an instant. A lot of people, not just me, but a lot of people can just be here today and gone tomorrow. Jack's Point is a place where, like all explorers, when I'm doing my imaginary exploration, I walk down there and discover this place that had these unique characteristics where the ocean sort of feeds into this uh, a uh, freshwater stream which goes, I guess, all the way across this section of the island down to Highway 278 and beyond, out to the bay. And there are fish in there. So you find things. So I decided to name it Jack's Point, just like any explorer gets to name any piece of territory that they find and want to put their mark on. The personal memories or whatever. Other people can call it what they want, but for me I call it Jack's Point because it's special to me. I want to have prayer with you and Tondra and Mommy out here on this beach and just thank God for all of his blessings. And uh, all of us grew and matured. So it's more than just a, a happy, pleasant visit. It's filled with joy and thanksgiving. I thank God for 
allowing us all to be here. And I think it was special for all of us, each and every one of us. So I, I really appreciate having crossed over from a, a more ordinary appreciation of life and the beauty of this beach to where I now enjoy it. Do you want to say anything about about your illness in, in particular, anything? I'm not afraid of it. And I believe that God has my life in His hands. He numbers all of our days. And I think all of this happened in order that some good may come out of it, that we might benefit beyond just mere recovery for a time. Everything's different now. Everything has a different point value times 10,000. Every single day, every moment, every footstep on the beach, whether you leave a footprint in the sand or not, it's all special.